Can you make babies? There's this one test that can tell you a lot. It's called the AMH or the anti-malarian hormone. It's released by these tiny follicles in your ovaries. It's like your egg score. It gives you an idea of how many eggs you have left and how fertile you are. Now, what's the ideal AMH count for your age? If you're 20 to 25 years of age and if you have no major health issues or genetic factors, then AMH of 3 to 4 is considered solid. But if it's above 5, it could be a sign of PCOS. If you're 30 to 35 years old, AMH naturally starts to dip and a range of 2.5 to 3.5 is normal. But don't stress because AMH only tells you the quantity of eggs, not their quality, which really matters for conception, right? Now, if you're 40 years above, then the levels drop below 1 and eventually it's go down to 0.5, which means there's very low egg count. And this is when fertility will naturally decline and then of course menopause approaches, right? So, Understand that AMH is just a number and it alone doesn't define what your fertility is. We've helped a lot of people, whether they have PCOS, endo or adenomyosis to conceive naturally post 40 as well. If you have questions, post them below.